hello guys, this is me, Angie Lindia Diagan from BSDM Tom 11. And today we will be discussing about the golden ratio. So, what is the golden ratio? This is another concept related to Fibonacci sequence. The golden ratio involves two numbers are in golden ratio if the ratio of the numbers a plus b divided by the larger number a is equal to the ratio of the larger number divided by the smaller number a over b the golden ratio is about 1.618 and represented by the greek letter p ito yun yung nakikita natin symbols sa ilalim. In short, the sum of two numbers, ang sum ng two numbers na yun, kapag dinivide sa larger number, ay equal sa sagot kapag yung larger number is divided by the smaller number. The worlds of architecture, design, and art may seem like open, creative endeavors. But they may not be quite as spontaneous as they first appear. When we look at great moments like these, there are similarities that we just can't ignore. All these instances adhere to the same compositional proportions. These proportions are known as the golden ratio. So what is the golden ratio? The golden ratio is a mathematical figure. It was first theorized by ancient mathematicians to quantify the beautiful asymmetry found in nature. Specifically, the golden ratio is equal to roughly 1.618. When the ratio is applied to shapes, like this square, you get a rectangle of harmonious proportions. When the original square is placed over the rectangle, you get a diagram that is representative of the golden ratio. Renaissance artists use the golden ratio extensively in their paintings and sculptures to achieve a sense of balance and beauty. Leonardo da Vinci, for instance, used it to define all the fundamental proportions of his painting of the Last Supper. However, these days it's debated whether the golden ratio is a true universal law. Over the years, Stanford math professor Keith Devlin has run an experiment. He's shown students different rectangles and asked them to pick a favorite. His finding? Students seemingly prefer rectangles at random, which could suggest that the golden ratio is not the subconscious standard of beauty that Greek philosophers believed. That said, ultimate truth may not matter. For artists and designers, the golden ratio can still be a powerful tool for creating aesthetically pleasing designs. Take the Twitter logo. Each part of the logo can be defined by circles that align to the golden ratio. Graphic designer George Bakua is known for modern, minimalist logos for clients and brands all over the world. When designing logos, he relies heavily on the golden ratio, and specifically its derivative, the golden spiral. In my case, I love the shape of the golden spiral. The shape itself feels right, it looks good. I just use it whenever I can. So, is the golden ratio true, or is it a myth? For designers and artists, it may be just one more tool on the quest for creative perfection.
So, yun nga guys. Base sa napanood natin, ang golden ratio ay ginagamit din ng mga artists and designers. Ito rin ay ginagamit upang pagbasihan ng beauty. Beauty na tinatawag na divine proportion na ginagamit nila upang ma sabing ikaw ay ang pinak ikaw ang pinakamaganda so eto ang ating formula to get the golden ratio and at the right side is the logo of twitter na ginamita ng golden ratio so let's proceed for the problem solving The golden ratio, we can say that the two numbers are in golden ratio if it satisfies the equation A, A over B. A over B equals 2 A plus B over A. Where A, where A is greater than B and B is greater than 0. It says that a is always greater than B. For example, we have 34 and 35. Our A is equals to 55. Why? Because it says A is always greater than B. Take a look. Diba? Nakalagay sa bibi. And our B is equals to 34 kasi nga mas mataas si A sa kanya. And let's try to solve it. This, we, I have the solution here at the right side. Let's substitute the given to the given formula. Ano nga ulit ang formula? A over B equals A plus B over A. So let's substitute na. 55 over 34 equals 55 plus 34 over 55. So, let's first solve the 55 over 34 and 55 plus 34 over 55. Oh, come on. 55 over 34 is equals to 1.62 and 55 plus 34 over 55 is equals to 89 over 55. Then let's solve the 89 over 55. But the final answer is 1.62 or equals 1.62. So ang ating given ba ay masasabing isang golden ratio or not? Well, this is right answer. 55 and 34 are in golden ratio. So, ayun nga. So, ayun nga. Pip, ang ating given na 55 and 54 are in golden ratio kasi equal sila sa, itat, sa isa't isa. So, let's try another example. Let's proceed to example number 2. Here, word problem. Determine if 233 and 377 are in golden ratio. So, ang A natin ay 377 and ang B natin ay equal sa 233. Diba ang sabi nga, ang A ay laging mas malaki sa B. Kaya, ang ating A ay 377 at ang ating B ay 233. So, let's substitute the given to the given formula. Ano nga ulit ang ating formula? A over B equals A plus B over A. So, Let's take, let's try to solve this another example. First we have to solve the 377 over 233. Let's see kung anong 
Pansirgaan. 377 over 233 is equals to 1.62. And 377 plus 233 over 377 is equals to 610 over 377. So, solve pa natin itong, i-divide pa natin itong 610 sa 377. So, ang final answer ay 1.62 equals 1.62. Point so, anong ang given natin? Ito ba ay isang golden ratio or hindi? So, the answer is, yes, it is a golden ratio. 377 and 233 are in golden ratio dahil nga sila ay equal sa isa sa so, Hanggang dyan lang po ang ating report. Ang ating example ay sana ay may natutunan kayo sa aking naituro. Maraming salamat!